the reality of the food conspiracy is this. Um, we, uh, we hit the new normal about a year ago. So prior to that, we had seen um, some double digit sales growth for several years in a row. And I just want to talk about kind of what we've done and what we're doing. And um, so a little background to that. Tucson's pretty rich in competition already. We have about three of everything. I think we have three Costco's. We have three Whole Foods. We have three Trader Joe's. We have three Sprouts. We have a ton of Kroger, whoever's, um, as well as some local guys. And um, the, new, the new player coming to town is Natural Grocers. So we have two of them, and we have a third one opening next month. And that third one is going to be right on the edge of our trade area. So we're getting ready, um, kind of like the no frump. <laughs> For, that Kelly Dean and his team did in Bozeman um, to try and minimize the impact that we um, in our sales from those guys opening up. So this is the first co cafe that I've been to that has talked so much about operational issues. But I think that there's a reason because it's so important for everybody, for all the stakeholders that are involved in the co-op to really understand the pressures that stores are going through right now. And um, if we're on the same page and we have that understanding and support, then we have a much better chance of being su successful. So um, the new normal is affecting a lot of our co-ops. Some of us, I guess, have um, still been able to attain double digit sales growth. And I think that's awesome. And I want to know what they're doing. <laughs> um, but that wasn't our experience. So um, it wasn't 1979 when our co-op uh, looked like um, some of those black and whites. That was like four years ago <laughs> for us. <laughs> and um, so we remodeled. The board voted to remodel. And I think that was such a good move. So we invested some of our money back into the store. And we're now fresh and relevant and, and as shoppable as you can be in a store our size. Um, but that didn't make us immune. I was, we were like, great, 17% sales growth, 20% sales growth. We are doing it. And then last year, it went <laughs> And we saw, for a few months, negative sales growth. And um, no one knew it opened up. We had some natural grocers, but they weren't nearby. And I think that, as um, we talked about earlier, if we would have looked at when Safeway remodeled and when the new Costco opened, that we probably would have seen some of those slower declines and been a little smarter about it. But we didn't do that. So um, we responded, though. So it was about a month or two, we thought, um, you know, what's going on with their sales? And oh gosh, it's almost Thanksgiving. What are we going to do? <laughs> so we th had some additional sales days because sales days in our community are really exciting and they bring people in the store and they make our owners feel really appreciated and they buy more product and they save some money. And, uh, but we knew that that wasn't really going to work forever because it's just kind of slapping a band aid on it and that's send your net profit right out the door. So, um, as management team, we got together and we figured out some changes that we need to make. Some we'd been talking about for a while, like prices. You know, We all know our price image is high. We get the shopper surveys, and they love us, but we're too expensive. <laughs> so um, we had been lowering some prices, but we took that opportunity to make sure that we were lowering even more prices on key items that really had an impact on our price image. And then we did more comp shops, and we didn't just go to Whole Foods anymore. You know, we went to Costco and we went to Safeway because they're close, and people are buying their organics and their naturals from there. So um, just recently, we uh, realized that placement was important and to keep it fresh, and so we did a total center store reset, and uh, they created better adjacencies and made it a little bit more shoppable in our store. And at the same time, we uh, refresh our promotions program. So prior to that, we had five promotions. Um, it was hard to know just from the signs on the shelves whether that sale applied to you if you weren't a member. And people get to the register sometimes to be upset that they weren't getting that price. So we made it really clear. Now we have three. We have co-op basics, we have co-op deals, and we have owner extras. And um, it's easy for staff to explain. And I think it's easy for our shoppers to understand. Um, some planned stuff that we're going to do that we haven't quite done yet. We're adding, um, since we know that convenience is um, on the rise, we are adding some more programs that are going to make it more convenient for people to meet their needs and snacking needs, apparently. <laughs> we're going to have a full service sandwich bar, which is going to be our only service in the store before we are totally um, self-serve. So that's going to add some theater, which I think is really going to be good for us as well. Um, and uh, we're going to add some more convenience in produce. We're going to increase their cut program. And um, 
there, uh, and I think that that's really going to work with our addition of a fresh meat department as well. So in addition to those operational changes that we made, um, we had a market study last winter um, just as our sales were slowing down and we learned some really interesting things. Um, not only that we were in the right spot, but that we needed a bigger store, <laughs> um, but that Tucson is a really ad sensitive community. And so we had kind of done away with paper advertising um, because that seemed like the trend for co-ops, but that's not true for our community. So we started inserting co-op deals into our newspaper, into our weeklies. And it's a little new to figure out what the return is on that, but we're making changes <coughs> and we're trying to stay um, as current as possible. So um, I think another thing that we're really focused, that I'm really focused on this, this year is improved communication of the current reality. You know, it's like, okay, so we know what's happening and this is our plan and now we need to talk about it and we need to talk about it some more and then we need to talk about it some more. So um, that's with staff, that's um, with our board. And um, like I said before, having that understanding and support with the key stakeholders is just gonna be absolutely vital to our success. So we're all on the same page and we know where we're going and how we're gonna get there. So um, there are many changes that we've made and um, because of the competitive landscape, and unfortunately, it's not a problem that we're going to solve as a co-op or probably even as a group of co-ops, but it's a rea reality that we're going to have to embrace. Food Conspiracy has the opportunity um, and responsibility to up its game and change our store culture to one of continual improvement and uh, to be the best retailers that we're going to be, that we can be. And uh, that's what we're going to do. Thanks. <laughs>